easy. This next two week block, we're gonna focus on uh, the inside of the foot passing, the driven pass, uh, the bended pass with the inside and the outside of the foot, and the chip shot. Now, the difficult and the most challenging part of this is how do you do it at home? How do you do it when you don't have anybody to pass them back uh, and forth with? Ah, but I've come up with an idea. With your parents' permission, pull out your recycling can and your garbage can. And let's see what we can do to get creative to work on those different range of passing. Uh, so please bear with me. Let's get to it. To start with, place your garbage cans uh, a distance of which you feel is appropriate for you in regarding to your current range of passing. Get creative um, with it in regards to uh, how far or where you wish to place your garbage cans. Right here, I can say that I'm close to maybe 20 yards apart because that's kind of the, the parameters that I have. Uh, obviously, some homes don't have uh, maybe yards. Just again, please be careful. Please place them uh, wherever, you know, uh, your parents feel, your guardian feel that, that is appropriate for you to do so. Um, why garbage cans? Well, one, uh, usually don't mind the ball hitting them, so they're quite durable. And they mark kind of the width or size of a player. So if you actually hit your garbage can with your pass, you're working on that accuracy. And for the most part, if there was a, a player there to receive it, you'd have actually hit your mark. So that's why we're using the garbage cans. Okay, go set it up. The first technique we're going to work on is inside of the foot passing. Let's take a look at it, what it looks like here. Okay, so your non-kicking foot is pointing at the target. Right now it's the screen. Your foot comes through and it's the inside of your foot with the toe up. Now big issues within our soccer club is some kids come through and strike the ball with their toe down. We want their toe up and you deliver the pass through the ball and follow through to your target. This next pass we're gonna work on is the driven pass with the laces. So let's just take a look and see what it looks like. Okay, so what we want to try and do is get the ball with the non-kicking foot slightly further away from the ball this time. And you're gonna try and drive the ball toe pointed down. But instead of like coming straight at the ball, you're coming slightly at an angle. And what you're gonna try and do is just drive under the center of the ball and just follow through to your target. And what you'll see is with the driven pass, you'll even see a, a lot of backspin. So it's just driven through, or if you get it just perfect, you'll just see the ball glide and not move and it'll just float through the air or along the ground, or however hard or soft you wanna hit it. Let's give it a try. For the following shots, the inside of the foot bend, the outside of the foot bend, and the chip shot, we set up a little bit differently. We're gonna try and use the two bins. If you can see here, I've got the garbage can in the middle and the recycling can at the end. What we're trying to do is hit the recycling can. With the inside of the foot, we're gonna try and bend the ball around. If you notice, it's a straight line. straight line so we can gauge whether the ball is bending around the uh, the bin and hitting the recycling can so with the inside then the outside is going to go around the uh, the garbage can the other way and the chip shot is going to go over and in this time we're going to attempt the curved ball with the inside of the right foot to start off with let's mark the ball as you can see the soccer ball here what you want to try and do is if you're coming at it is try and hit where the size five is, just underneath the ball here. And what we're gonna do is gonna bring our foot in and round, and we're gonna whip the ball uh, to make it curve and change direction. So the ball comes in, 
there, non-kicking foot, and you're gonna try and get underneath the ball, and you're just gonna whip the leg through. This time we're going to try with the outside of the foot and bend the ball with the outside of the foot. If you can see here, exactly the same as last time. You're going to try and hit the ball underneath and you're going to try and come through with the outside of the foot and strike the ball. Again, just come through and you strike the ball with a non-kick kicking foot coming through. And if you see there, and you'll strike the ball and you'll go through. This time we're going to talk about the chip shot. So for this one, what you need to do is you're going to try and get underneath the ball, right underneath it, and you're going to chip it and kind of stamp down on it. And what it does, it just rises above. So the chip shot, you want to try and get the ball non-kicking foot again at the target. Your toe is down, but you're kind of lead, you're really leaning over it and you're trying to get underneath it. And what you do is you just stab at it. So there's not much follow through. So you're stabbing at the ball, getting underneath it. And what you'll find with the chip shot, you'll get a ton of backspin. The ball's going back, 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 back in the air. So that's the chip shot.